Hi, my name is Brian Saylor, and I'm here with Garth DeBrew, the Director of RF Engineering at ETS Lindgren. And Garth's going to tell us about the newest product from ETS Lindgren, the M-Field Generator. Garth, tell us what we're looking at here. Well, what we've got here is a self-contained unit, uh, which consists of amplifier modules directly coupled to antenna array, and is designed to provide a 10 volt per meter E-Field test generator. Well, this looks really different than any kind of an immunity setup that I've seen before. Help me understand what's going on. You're probably familiar with the traditional setup where you've got the amplifiers, instrument racks, and, and so forth external to the chamber, coupled via N-type cable to antennas inside the chamber. What we've done here is taken the amplifier module, the power sensors, and power meter, couple that into a single module, and couple it directly to the antenna array so that we have a self-contained unit for delivering in excess of 10 volts per meter for this module at the traditional three meter test distance. So you have more than one amplifier and you have more than one antenna? Yes, in this module we've got three separate amplifiers. Each amplifier has two power sensors and power meters which measure forward and reflected power. And then each module is connected to a single uh, log periodic antenna uh, that form a three antenna array. So this big aluminum block here, doesn't that have an impact on the overall performance of the, of the system? It does, and, and that's a very good question. And the system is designed to take advantage of the fact that you've got this large metallic backplane, which acts as a reflector for the, for the array, that enhances the gain of the unit and gives us the benefit in being able to generate the fields that we need with a small, uh, compact amplifier module. So what kind of measurements have you done to, to verify the performance of the system? Well, we've done the traditional IEC 61000-4-3 field uniformity measurement over the one and a half meter by one and a half meter grid. Uh, and we've demonstrated that we can generate in excess of 10 volts per meter over all 16 points. Interesting. So one of the other things I notice is I don't see any power cables or, or communication cords coming out of the unit. How do you get the power into the box to power the amplifiers? We've come up with an innovative way of doing that. We've got a single N-type coaxial cable, and on this cable we feed the RF signal from the signal source outside the chamber, in addition to 50 volts DC that powers all the electronics, and all the necessary communications and monitoring is all handled on that single coaxial cable. Everything on one cable? Everything on one cable. So the, the communications are going back to, to the outside the chamber. What's on the other end of the cable? If you step outside, I'll show you what we've got connected to the other end of the cable. Okay, let's go. Okay, so I see the cable that's coming from the chamber. It's feeding into the back of the M center. Help me understand what's happening here. So we have the M center here with a series of plug-in modules. And this is the N-type cable coming from the unit in the chamber to the M sense supply. And this has its own independent power supply. Uh, we have the RF signal from the signal generator plug-in module going to the M sense supply. And the field probe that monitors the field in the chamber is connected to a separate uh, sense module uh, via fiber optic cable. Okay. So what's happening on the other end? So what we have here is direct continuous readout of forward and reflected power uh, from the power sensors built into the amplifier module, in addition to the amplifier status of the amplifier module. So all of the control of the system and the readout of the system can be done from the front panel or from remote software such as Tile? That's correct. Okay, well thanks a lot, Garth. Thank For you. more information about the M-Field generator, please go to our website at www.emfieldgenerator.com.